Welcome back to Athletic Everyday, day number 328. This is just a simple weightlifting workout. I'm finding it's quite useful to just split the workouts up so that some workouts I'll do just entirely as sprints, jumps, plyometrics, and then other workouts I'll do just focusing on weightlifting. I'm not really sure what the best way to divvy up the workouts actually is. Uh, whether it's better to do, you know, like a, a mixed session where you do like the start of the session with some high-speed explosive uh, sprints and jumps, which will potentiate you nicely for the weightlifting, but then again, um, it just means that you're diverting a certain amount of energy away from one of the main focuses, uh, or to just s completely separate the sessions out and then do a session where you can focus entirely on weightlifting, really work on a form, uh, a form point that maybe you're lacking in, or potentially uh, do a specific. Uh, what is it, drill variant of one of the movements that will then allow you to work on you know, an area of your particular weekend. For instance, with my snatch, uh, on power snatch especially, you can see I tend to jump my feet backwards quite a lot. And that will translate to, in heavier lifts, me missing forwards essentially. Because if, if, if my feet go backward and the bar stays where it is or goes even slightly forwards, then I'm basically going to lose the bar forwards. And that's more or less how I miss most of my snatches. So what's happening there is essentially I'm probably extending too much horizontally into the bar and not upwards into the bar enough, uh, especially as the weight gets heavier. I'm trying to use you know, more hips, more glutes, a bit more hip dominant than uh, I am leg dominant. So uh, I was trying to focus on not doing that in this session. Uh, I, maybe there's some drills I could work on. If anyone knows of any particular snatch variant that helps you to work on keeping the feet where they are. I know no feet snatch is also quite useful. Uh, what can also be quite useful is a, a no contact snatch as well, because that forces a pretty much straight vertical line bar path. So, or even a muscle snatch, like a no contact, no foot muscle snatch could also work uh, quite nicely as well. But anyway, walking uh, with the snatch, the power snatches, uh, I was doing a complex of, in the warm-up sets, one plus two uh, power snatch from the floor, followed up by a hang power snatch. And then, uh, as I got to the top sets, so what you're seeing here is, I think, 75 kilos, I did one plus one. So I attempted to do one plus one a few times. This last set here, I didn't quite make the second rep. As you saw there, I missed out the front. Uh, but I wasn't going to end on a miss. So I decided to do a uh, second rep pretty much straight away afterwards. It wasn't pretty, but again, uh, never end on a miss. Then I moved into some clean and jerk doubles. I don't often do higher rep clean and jerks. and up until this week, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to actually just train the full clean and jerk or if I just wanted to focus on purely cleans. But, you know, if you're going to do the sport of weightlifting, you may as well do all three components. Uh, well, all two components, but the main component of the clean and jerk is the clean and the jerk. You know, the jerk is 50% of the movement. So I think it's a good way to develop the upper body and it's explosive. I really like the explosiveness and the stiffness you have to have in the legs when you do the turnaround. For, well, when you do the dip and then the turnaround into the into the jerk, I find I, I find that that would have some carryover into some athletic movements because you know you don't often jump from a deep squat position. You're usually going to jump from a quarter squat position, so it makes sense by strengthening uh, the amortization phase, like the turnaround phase, where you go from you know dipping the bar eccentrically, translating that into concentric movement. I think that that could also have some potential carryover into you know, maybe vertical jump. But just other athletic movements, sprinting, jumping, so on and so forth. Anyway, so for the clean and jerk today, it was just doubles. Uh, wanted to work up to a relatively heavy top set for two. This is probably the heaviest top set I could do at the moment, uh, about 100 kilos. If this had been maybe earlier on in the year, I might have been able to go a bit heavier. Um, especially when, like, pretty much a year ago when I started the athletic every day, when I was just coming off the back of the Clarence Kennedy weightlifting program, the beginner weightlifting program, I probably was doing 105 to 110 kilo doubles, or that, that is what I probably could have done quite consistently. But nonetheless, this is where we're at, and I think this is yeah a step along the way to getting where I want to get to with clean and jerk. So the goal this year is 140 kilos clean and jerk. Current max clean is 125, and my current max clean and jerk is 120. Uh, with a little bit of a wobbly lockout on the jerk, the jerk is probably the it's probably the uh, the weakest area of the lift that I have so far because it's just the thing that I have the least volume in training, uh, and I don't have that much upper body vertical pressing strength, which you know will get developed. Uh, so anyway, this I believe was the penultimate set or the second to last set 
of those clean and jerks. I'm kind of glad that guy walked in front of the camera actually because you missed me uh, standing the, the cleanup with terrible form. I think this was the last set actually. So yeah, I think on the jerk, what I'm trying to focus on is making sure that the back foot contacts even slightly first. And it's very difficult to do that on heavier and heavier jerk attempts because you'll just sort of revert back to your normal pattern, which for me is both feet touching at the same time, or maybe the front foot touching slightly more forwards. It's kind of hard to tell, uh, especially as you get tired um, and the weight, weight gets heavier to, to know if you're actually doing it right. And, you know, it's a fast movement, but you sort of know when you get heavier in the lifts, you get to a higher and higher percentage of your 1RM, the form is going to be a little bit compromised. No, I think this is actually the last set. Uh, so I must have done three or maybe four top sets of uh, of two reps, 100 kilos. So decently high volume session with clean and jerks. And also, I guess we could say with power snatch as well. Uh, so I think that's a little bit, uh, I don't think it's very reasonable to expect to do a high volume weightlifting workout or right after a session of sprints and jumps. So, you know, when it comes to actually improving the weightlifting movements, you do have to do significantly high volume, not only to get stronger, build up, you know, the, the strength for doing the movements, but also for developing the technique as well. You know, they're highly technical movements, so you have to practice them with decently high frequency and volume in order to actually improve them. So, and then the last thing I moved into in this session was the uh, snatch pulls, snatch pulls from the floor. I don't often do pulls, and you know, I, think, I think if you want to get stronger at weightlifting, then yeah, you should probably start doing pulls. And you know, I do plenty of squatting, but yeah, pulling off the floor, especially clean pulls, I don't do with particularly high frequency. But you know, you can almost say if you don't do much hinging, that you know, a pull is kind of a, well, any kind of pull off the floor is to some extent a pull. Uh, it's a little bit of a there's quite a lot of hinging in there as well, um, especially as you get past the knee. Um, you know, there's a lot of hamstring and glute involvement, posterior chain involvement. But yeah, top set of 100 kilos for triples. And that was pretty much the entirety of the workout. It felt good to do an just a uh, workout where I could just entirely focus on weightlifting. So pretty happy about that. And we'll start implementing some more weightlifting only sessions. All right, thanks for watching guys. And I'll catch you in the next video.